There's a time in July and August when I enter the sanctuary and the restored meadow is alive. And it just makes me stop and think this is possible. To grow a crop like tobacco is extremely labor intensive. They called it chattel slavery, like cattle and that their only use and their only importance was to take things out of the land. And a lot of that wonderful soil that would have been produced by forests is now in the Chesapeake Bay. The Wells were considering building their house right on the footprint of Clean Drinking Manor, but I think the Wellses were wise to build up on the hill behind where their house actually is today. I wouldn't mind a veranda like this myself. And ultimately, when she left the estate to Audubon Natural Society, her will stipulated that it would be a bird sanctuary. I'd never seen anything like that and thought to myself, fantastic. So we've been having stranger temperature shifts, and so sometimes things are sort of out of sync. And that temperature increase is stressing the trees. The storms in our region have gotten more concentrated and more intense than they used to be by a lot. The creation of the Blair Native Plant Garden told us that a full-fledged restoration of wood end was possible and could be fabulous. We couldn't even really contemplate the Tree Safe Rain Garden until we knew that there would be a plan to remove some of the deer pressure. There are several things this year that I'm seeing on the forest floor that we did not see last year. If we want our future generations to love and protect nature, they need to have a personal relationship with it. All of us together can have the power to make change.